Hi, it's Mike from Testamet.io. I'm here to show you how to get started with web driver test automation and the manual testing under the one roof of the test management system. Let's create a new project. Once it's done, so we have test automation in place and we would like to move it and synchronize this test automation with Testamet project. So how it can be done? So you go to the import of your source code you can choose the project framework and the programming language. Then we will generate a command that you would need to execute on your test automation repository. So this command will introspect all the test cases that you have, and it will be sent in a seconds to the test management system. You don't need to go and do any customization. Everything is done out of the box. Once it's done, you may see the, the same structure as you have in test automation repository. And if you'll open the test case, you will see the test automation implementation. Okay, so we do have the test automation code in test management system. So now let's add a manual test cases. So let's just create a new, a new test suite. So inside of this test suite, we can add some different test cases. Let me just uh, go and add the checklist of the test cases. So by one click, I can create 10 test cases. And inside of it, you can go and add some descriptions. So for example, I open some page, I, I click in on some link, right? And then I check that I see some, some text on the, on the page, right? So by this way, so you can organize and describe your test cases in Markdown editor. So of course you can add the screen sorts if you would like to by copy and pasting. So and um, yeah, and, and the one roof you will have the manual test cases and you have the test automation. Fine then. So once we have it, right? So we would like to organize it if you if you would like to. So you can use the drag and drag and drop. So if you would like something like this, right? So and then you can just move from one folder to another, for example here, so you can move from one folder to another. So fine, now we have the test cases and we have organized those test cases uh, under the one roof. So let's go and execute these test cases. The first one, we will execute the test automation as we already have it. So we go on the WebDriver IO, we, we uh, prepare a special reporter you would need to use in your project. And then you would need to add uh, the, the configuration to your project. So on the reporter side, so you would need to go and install it like this. And uh, once it's done, so we, you would need to go and uh, create the configuration in your WebDriver project here. And you may see that uh, the reporter is, in, uh, is installed here. So, and on the top, we have the, also the import, right? So once it's done, we will uh, give you the test execution uh, command line. So with our reporter, so you would need just copy this and execute on your site. Once it has been started, so you, you should see the Chrome and uh, all the Chrome uh, instances should be shown to you that test, test automation execution is uh, in progress. So um, yeah, something is, uh, is going and executed by automated test cases. Let's just go and finish it. So we don't need to wait until the finish of the, uh, the results. We will see the intermediate results in real time reporting. So here you may see that some test cases are passed and some of them are failed. You can check the stack trace and you can check the implementation of the code, the attachments if you have and something like this, right? So once uh, once this will finish, we will see the complete uh, finished results. Until the, until the, the the finish, we will execute our manual test cases easily. So you may see that we have a different test cases. We should go and execute this one by one. So uh, if it's passed or failed, something like this, I will use the shortcuts keyboard shortcuts. We will finish and then we have the results, right? So you can see that that's manual test cases, you may see, and also you have the test automation. So you can see that, that the results, of course. So we have the analytics. On the analytics side, so you can check what you have the test automation coverage. So by some test suites, 
you can check when you have an uh, ever failing test cases, the slowest test cases, the flaky test cases, and so on and so forth. So of course you have the, a lot of different advanced capabilities like tracing, tracing the changes uh, for your project. So what was changed and by whom and when. So you can add the steps database to central place. So then it can be used with uh, auto completion. Also, you can use the analytics and you can use the, the branches or install the continuous integration profiles or Jira profiles. Just get started with WebDriver test automation and the manual testing in test and in testamat test management system.